Hey everybody, how y'all doing today? We have a couple new robot unboxings we're gonna do now on this channel. As you can see in front of me, I got the Neobot Nomo. Uh, both of these are self-emptying bins, and uh, I think they're gonna be pretty good systems overall to test. Both of them have the LiDAR navigation. This one has a self-empty bin too, as you can see. The cool thing about this one is, is the design of the self-empty bin. It actually has uh, two ports at the bottom of this that suck out the debris from both sides into the vacuum. So I think it's gonna be much better overall than most of the other self-emptying bins. But once again, I haven't tested this out at all. So we'll find out together. Um, this one, I've had the Prusenic M7 Pro with their self-empty bin. And this thing looks, to be honest, to me, identical to it. So. I'm gonna be kind of curious to see how well this self-empty bin works compared to that. Um, like I said, they're both LiDAR, so they're both gonna be extremely good at navigation, and uh, I'm excited to see which one's gonna be better. My personal pick, I think, is gonna be this one here, the D-Bot. Um, I think this one might give the iRobot i7 Plus a run for its money. So pretty excited to get into these. This is just gonna be a super quick unboxing video. of. Um, we're gonna start with this one. And then the next video we'll do um, this one an unboxing. And of course I'll have test and full reviews of both of these uh, soon. So if you're interested in these robots and you're new to this channel, please do me a favor, like and subscribe and uh, click that notification bell and these will be reviewed very soon. And I also just ordered the iRobot Roomba i3 Plus, which is brand new, just came out a couple days ago. They didn't even really market it. So I'm pretty excited to get that. I think it's going to be a very good vacuum as well. Will it be worth just a couple hundred dollars less than the i7 Plus? I don't know. I think the i7 Plus is going to be quite a bit superior, but that's why I'm going to order it and test it out. So, D-Bot Osmo T8 Plus. Pretty excited for this one. Probably the most excited I've been for any vacuum I've reviewed probably since the i7 or the S9 Plus. So. Finally, we have a LiDAR-based system with what looks to be a good self-emptying bin. But let's find out after I do this review. Very nice packaging. I love the packaging on this. Nice and clean. Tons of information. Here you can see what I'm talking about. It sucks from both sides of the dirt bin. Pulls it back and it goes up to a single tube and into a filtered bag. Very, like I said, very clean, good looking box. I think all companies should have a nice looking box to put their product out there. I hate the ones that, that come, like even the Roborock, great vacuum, but they send it to you in a brown box that's just, you know, unappealing. So, all right, enough talking about this. Let's go ahead and get into it. Comes with a pretty cool seal. Let's grab it here, pull it back. Make a couple fart noises. Then you're in. All right, here we go. This box is quite large, so it's barely fitting in this frame. So I'm probably gonna show you what's in it, pull it off to the side, and then I'll, I'll pull out each individual piece and show it to you. So very nicely packaged. Pretty similar to how the i7 Plus and S9 Plus was packaged. So here, of course, is the main robot. Here's what I meant about the brown box. This is totally fine because it's inside. Um, but when they ship you a box just like this, and that's all really all the info they give you on the vacuum, I don't personally like that, but that's okay. Let's start with this guy. All right, let's check out the robot. Here we go. Very, very nicely protected in here. Lots of padding. That's about an inch thick foam there completely surrounded by foam, and then just a ton of this uh, protective film. The most I've ever seen. This is probably the best padded box I've ever got on any robot vacuum, so that's pretty cool. This has a nice shiny look to it, which is pretty cool. Peel that thing up. And let's go ahead and, just, let's go ahead and peel all this off now. Very cool looking robot. I like that, that color gray. That is really, really appealing. And this has like a 
prism type look to it. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but when you turn your head, the color kind of changes. Kind of like a uh, uh, prism, I guess. Let's pull this up and see what this says. Thank you for choosing D-Bot. Please follow these instructions. Just like any other robots, I pretty much know what to do with that. It does come with a little uh, cleaning brush and a little blade that you go along the brush with and it cuts the hair off for you. And let's check out the size of the bin. Definitely not the biggest bin I've seen. A little bit small, but you know, if it sends it back and gets rid of the, the dust and dirt quickly and easily, then it's gonna be pretty good. These are spring loaded. So when it feels the suction, it'll obviously open up. But yeah, kind of a small bin. I was expecting that to be a little bit bigger. But not the end of the world if, if the self-empty part does a good job. And then, of course, it has protection all the way around. Like I said, they, they do not want to mess around with this stuff getting damaged and shipping. And then this one, I'm actually kind of excited to test this one. This is my first robot with one, a big water tank, and two, supposedly this has a really fast vibrating um, base to it that's gonna help clean up and get uh, stuck on grime and dirt off your tile and and such. So that's pretty cool. I'm excited to get this. All right, pulling out all the bumper pads that also protected for shipping. There we go. All right, what do you guys think? That is a good looking robot. I really like how this guy looks. It's got the camera up front, so it has the True Detect 3D, which is gonna avoid obstacles like dog poop or shoes or whatever else people let leave laying around. It's got about the standard side br size brush roll. Uh, of course, it has the dual side brushes, which is really nice. Um, hopefully, they don't spin too fast. That was probably one of my main complaints about the Prusinic M7 Pro is these spun really quickly, and if you were on hardwood floors, it would just spread the debris like crazy and miss a lot of it. All right, let's keep going with this unboxing. But once again, look at that padding they put in there. You could drop this 10 feet high, and I bet you it wouldn't damage it that bad. Let me know down in the comments if you want me to do that test. Just kidding. So, so far, I'm impressed. Very good looking robot. Looks like this is going to be the accessories box. Okay, so you get an extra filter, which is always good, but pretty much every company gives you that. You got the power plug. Manuals, of course. Don't think I'll need those, but I will set them aside. have a dust bin bag. Let's see if they give you one or two. Just one right here. Hopefully there's one more in the bin already. It'd be nice to get more than one of those. Here's some uh, mopping pads. This is just for dust to collect. And then you get a the actual mopping pad itself, which, you know, takes the water on and you can peel this off and wash it in your washing machine. So that is reusable, which is always a plus. Probably will never use these. You know, if you're vacuuming with your robot often, there's no reason to have dust pads, in my opinion. Then you get color-coded side brushes. Cool. I think, I think this robot's gonna be really good. I hope it doesn't let me down, or you guys. That's about it, I'll keep the extra side brush and the filter and the box. So here we have it. Very cool design. I like this little look it gives back here. That must be where to exhaust the extra air possibly when it's running. Let's take off this sock. 
Oh yeah. They might be onto something here. Look at that dual port system. That is gonna suck out a ton of dirt, I think. Hopefully you can see that. Gonna peel off all this plastic. I'm actually, I'm actually really, really excited to get this guy going. And here's just a little plate for the mop section that you would put, most likely click into here somehow. That way if you run the mop, it's not gonna leave water everywhere. And uh, I don't know if I mentioned, there was a bag already in here. So that's pretty awesome of them. So you get two bags right off the get-go. And yeah, what do you guys think? This thing looks like a beast. I really, really have high hopes that this is gonna be something that I could say. And it's gonna be have to be very good for me to say this because I love my iRobot i7 Plus. If I can say this is even just as good as that, then they're onto something big here. But I, I kind of want to say, you know what? This thing's better overall. And I think it might be strictly because of this LiDAR system. All right, guys, I am going to get this plugged up, fully charged, and uh, clear out a good area and do some tests tonight. Um, real quick, as you saw on this, I have the Neobot to test. I have the Roomba i3 Plus coming. I still have to do lots of tests with that Samsung bot mop. I also just got the, the older BravaJet uh, 240 on a pallet. This thing's actually brand new. It's never even been used. I'm gonna put this up against the, the Samsung Jet bot and see which one's good overall. So lots of tests coming, a lot of videos. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I will be unboxing the Neobot probably right after this. I'm going to get them all fully charged, and then hopefully we have some awesome tests for you.